Yo, how's it going guys? Rebel here, coming to you guys with a brand new video. And today we are going to be doing a Future Stars kind of investment video. But before we get into it, go ahead and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. Every single day, brand new videos, trading, sniping, tips, gold pack method, gameplay, everything. Drop a sub and follow the Twitch if you want to see this all live. We open a lot of packs live. We grind SBCs, uh, you know, we do icon packs, we do all that live. So drop a follow to the Twitch, join the Discord for more but let's get to it so a lot of you guys have been asking me bro i have 100k i have 500k a million whatever and i want to make more money how do i do that with this brand new promo well there's a lot of ways um to make coins with every single promo that comes out and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i look at it and how i think i'm gonna make coins during this promo okay so i want to show you guys my transfer list first um this is just everything in gold pack method that has sold i have been doing this uh you know i'm making pretty good coins right now from it and i think i still have more players to sell uh no i have a lot of contracts and stuff like that like cornelius right here let's go ahead and sell that we're down like 10k off a of gold pack method but that's okay because we haven't even packed anything good yet but we look at um let's look at the future star players first future stars players is number one I'm going to give you guys a tip to invest in this, and then we could look at the orange cards, and then we could just look at other cards like that. But you guys always, always, always need to keep track of players. I know there's Footbin to keep track of it, but sometimes Footbin is a little bit laggy. You know, it doesn't have the accurate, accurate prices. It doesn't have stuff like that all the time loaded up. So what you guys need to do, man, is straight up, just look at the market, watch the market, and if you think a card is too low, for example, let's look at this... Uh, uh, this is just an example. It doesn't mean he's low. So you think this guy's too low, right? Add him to your transfer targets. And if we look at my transfer targets, I have cards dating all the way back to like a month ago. So for example, this Mane, he was the lowest I've ever seen him. I marked him at 1639. He's up like 100k already. Well, that was like a month ago. This Eto, he was 2.95. He's now going for 3... 3... 3.5, 3, 3.05. This Lozano was 590. And Bappe, when he was super cheap. Ronaldo, when he was super cheap. Quadrado, when he was super cheap. You see, I have all these players watched. So I know when their lowest price is and when their highest price is. So this Mane was super low as well at 15.70. Um, he's kind of still around the same price. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to be doing is watching this Bridge Ween. And you just want to keep watching. If you have a player in mind that you think is a good player to trade with. Uh, so, for example, this player I think is a really, really good player to trade with, okay? Lunin. Lunin, I think, is a really good player because I've used him. I used him this entire weekend league. I actually really, really liked him. He's one of the best goalies I have used, and I'm not just saying that, uh, you know, to make coins on this. I'm actually saying that he's a good goalie. Um, and besides the fact of that, the card design is amazing. It's one of my favorite card designs, and the dynamic picture is sick as well. Uh, he's also six foot four, and he's got amazing traits. So that's why I thought he was really good. But what's the most important thing with this card, guys? What's the most important thing? He links to the best center back in the game. Not Team of the Year Ramos. Gold Varon. You could get Varon for like 100k right now in the market. So you just know when once this guy goes out of packs, I'm not sure yet if this is his lowest price. I've seen him at 50k. Like right when he came out, he went up to 70k. He dropped back down to 55 where he's settling at right now. But if you could get this guy, I'm on Xbox right now. If you could get him anywhere from like 53k or lower, pick up a few. I think that's a really good price because what do we have coming out this week, guys? We have Team of the Week for Ron. He scored two goals and a victory for Real Madrid. The only two goals in the match um, for Real Madrid's side. So he's definitely getting a Team of the Week. And when people look at goalies for Real Madrid, the only players that they really see that they'll use is Courtois and this guy. Literally, it's just this guy. Courtois, like some people would get Courtois, right? But he's an 89 overall card, right? He's an 89 overall card. He's going for like 50K right now. So what are people going to do? They're going to most likely go for the cool variation. People like colorful squads. People like brand new cards. People like dynamic images, cards like this. Uh, they're not going to go ahead and spend 150K on a Courtois inform when they could just get this card right here. So they're going to go ahead and do that. But this card is going to be out of packs on Friday, remember. So if you buy this guy, maybe during Weekend League Rewards... Um, and hold him in your team for a little bit. Let's see, where is he? Lunin. Hold him. Maybe get like, I wouldn't say spend all your coins on him because there is a chance that he could drop even more. So you could hold and um, buy, maybe buy like five or like 10 or, or seven or something at like 55K if you really, really want to, if you want to get in now. But if you think he'll drop even more or you want to just sit on here and snipe, I'm pretty sure if I sat here for 10 minutes, I could probably get like five pops at 53K. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that. So Lunin is the number one investment, I think, in this entire Future Stars promo. And I say that because I like getting Future Stars when they're very cheap. For example, 
Uh, what's the other one that's very, very cheap? I think it's Dallow, right? Yeah, Dallow. I know he doesn't look like a good card. I know when I rank the players, I didn't rank them very high. I put them at garbage. But yeah, he doesn't look that he doesn't look that crazy. But let's say a left mid from uh, Milan comes out. I don't know. I'm just freaking a Colin Aglu with 99 pace or an objective player. Um, Ebro or a flashback Ebro with like 90 pace, right? This guy's gonna have a nice little link to him. He's very affordable right now at 56k. So I do believe if we get a link for him eventually, you could make some profit off of him. Both of these cards, I would say to get under 53k on Xbox. I don't know how much you're going for on PlayStation, but I would just pick them up at a price that you think is the lowest that you've seen them at. So if you're currently on on PlayStation, uh, you see him at 60k. I would say try picking him up at like 55k, uh, just to be safe and you know these cards are really not going to crash much until like maybe two months from now i'm guessing like that lunin is not going to drop below 50k in my opinion until a while because you know veron's going to be in the game for a while um his team of the week is going to be out that card is going to be very very rare stuff like that a lot of people are going to have them untradeable so uh yeah dalo lunin very very good investments now let's look at the orange cards okay a lot of people have been asking me about man of the matches as well if they're wow they don't even have man of the matches in here okay well i want to go ahead and look at one real quick so we're going to look at jordi alba i guess since we don't have man of the matches we'll go on here and we'll just look at like 60 and we'll go like that so he's already up a little bit jordi alba orange card man of the match these are a little bit rare not really because i did pack one but this card right here it doesn't look insane right but let's say a Griezmann team of the week comes out, another left winger Griezmann or something like that, or an Ansu Fati comes out next week. He gets a perfect link with Ansu Fati, Spain, uh, La Liga, Barcelona. He gets a perfect link with him, so he's probably, probably, probably gonna go up. But I do think 98k is a lot for him. Like this is a very risky one. I think the Lunin is like a medium investment, like a medium risk investment. This one is a very high risk because if uh, the Ansu Fati does come out, I could see this guy rising a little bit in the hype, maybe to like 110, 120k, maybe, maybe, maybe once he's out of packs on Friday. Um, and then after slowly going back down to like the 80, 90k mark. But I don't think this guy's going to be under 70k for a while just because he's the only special version of a left back in Barca right now. I know we have Des, uh, but that's a right back. And I think this is a really good one. Now, let's talk about an, a polar opposite right now. Quadrado. Quadrado is going for like 300k. Let's take a look. 260. Uh, I don't know if he's going to pop because I know he has a lot of special versions already. Let's see if there's an orange Quadrado here. Yeah, there's one right here for 285. Um, I would definitely not invest in this right now, guys. He's too expensive at 300, like 280k. I think paying this much for this card, you might as well just get a better looking card in his... Uh, a rule breakers card right here but this is a very expensive one do not go into that i'd say the only orange that you should be looking at is uh alba now let's take a look at golds i know veron is very high up already so you're not going to want to invest in that people have asked me hey should i invest in veron no you should have invested in veron when he scored those two goals um he was 70k at the time now he's back up to like 100k uh if i'm not mistaken let's take a look he's at 10 i mean you could probably still snipe this guy under 90k to be honest and if you do snipe him, you can hold him. But the chances of you picking up a snipe for 90k on a Veron is very, very, uh, very low. Because he sells almost instantly. He's probably the most popular player on foot. Next to like Neymar and Bappe and stuff like that. And Mendy. So yeah, he's going for 105k right now. I wouldn't think this is a good gold investment right here. We got one for 101. He's going to sell right away. Watch. You see? So if you could sit here and probably try to get one for 90k. Um, that's a really good investment as well. But I do think it's going to be almost impossible to get one for 90k. Uh, that is a really good one, though. And now we look at Team of the Weeks. Uh, let me go ahead and look at Footpin. So we went over Future Stars. We went over Orange Card. We went over freaking uh, Gold Cards like that, Veron. Now we need to look at Team of the Week. What Team of the Weeks look outstanding to us this week around? I don't really think any look insane. Um, yeah, Team of the Weeks is kind of dead this week. Yeah, I wouldn't really look at Team of the Weeks. One thing I do want to touch on, though, guys, is ones to watch. I know ones to watch trading has been kind of low this year. And I don't know why, but many ones to watches haven't gotten that many upgrades. So I want to go ahead and take a look at ones to watches. And I want to inform you guys, not inform you guys, but I want to make sure you guys understand how to trade with these. So, for example, this David's probably going to get a Team of the Week. Because uh, he got, I think, two goals and a victory, right? What you guys want to do is go to footpin right pick a player pick a random player let's look at uh hakimi and the most important thing for once to watch trading is selling at the right time you need to sell these 
when they're up in price obviously you don't want to buy them when they're already hyped up for like a goal or something like so if, let's say florenzi he got an assist you don't want to be buying him when he's 10k up you want to be buying him before the game or you want to take a risk with these there's always risk with live items like vidal david florenzi arthur stuff like that so florenzi is at 30k right now he's at 30k right now okay what i want you guys to do is go to once to watch look at the cheapest ones to watch even with the cheapest ones to watch there's always 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 room to make money on these so oshiman right now oshiman right now he is going for what he's going for 15k when do napoli play next let me look at napoli real quick napoli napoli play tomorrow they actually play tomorrow but that's in the Copa italia it doesn't really matter the next game they have is saturday they play saturday against juventus like this guy right here honestly is a really good buy i'm just gonna go ahead and pick one up you don't even have to pick up that many i could see this guy going up to 20k before the game uh even start so we'll just put him in the transfer list a nice little 15 buy right there i'm gonna look before the game on saturday and i'm gonna see if he's like anything higher than 17k if he is i'll sell him if not i'll hold him but the thing is when i hold him and he has a horrible game right there's gonna be a lot of panic sellers a lot of people are gonna be selling him and selling him and selling him and if you miss the window to buy before the game buy him after when he drops like that so you're gonna want to buy him after uh the game if he does horrible just buy a lot you could even buy like if i'm expecting him to drop to like 14k if he has a horrible game or something like that so just pick those up hold them into your club and sell them before the next game there they always 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 go up before the next game you could look at footbin you could look at the graphs they always 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 go up um it doesn't matter if they're a bad card, if they're a good card. You can always do that with ones to watches. Once to watches are very, very easy to make coins on, and I recommend you guys hop on that. I've been doing that for a while. Even with a player like Allen, a lot of casuals don't even know that he's injured right now, and they're still freaking holding his ones to watch. He's going for 33k right now. Um, you usually see this guy hit like 40k before Everton games, which is ridiculous because he's not even playing. But uh, that's the video, guys. I hope it helped you guys out on who to invest in and you know how to sort your options out so you don't get stuck onto one card like i'm investing in that looning i'm investing in uh jordi alba probably and i'm going to be investing in some once to watches just because i think they're you know everything's kind of low right now in the special market but in the common golds or the, the rare golds like mbappe everything's pretty high but that's uh that's the video guys very very simple stuff you know nothing very very hard he's going for like 690 right now but um nothing very hard guys pretty simple if you have questions comment down below or join the discord and ask me in there we're always active in there everybody's helping each other out but um yeah that's the video guys hope you enjoyed it peace